so today I'm doing a comparison video and I'm comparing and reviewing and first impressioning kind of these two brushes. These are both foundation brushes and they're called uh, toothbrush foundation brush since they're shaped like a legit toothbrush. If you keep up with my YouTube videos, I told you guys many times that I absolutely adore this brush. This is a foundation brush from Etude House. Uh, this is just an absolute baby. It's so amazing. Um, it just makes any kind of BB cream foundation, CC cream application so amazing. I love it so much. And since I love it so much, I wanted to try some other toothbrush foundation brush from other brands. Since uh, if you're interested in Korean beauty brands, you guys probably know that there are so many like foundation, like toothbrush foundation type of deals going on in all different kinds of Korean beauty brands. Like pretty much you have like these type of brushes from all different brands. So. I went out and got a another toothbrush foundation brush from Misha. So I'm going to compare these two together today. And um, this one from Etude House is priced at 14,000 Korean won. So that'd be about 13, 14 US dollars. Also this Misha brush is about 12,000 Korean won. So that'd be about like um, 11, 12, 13 US dollars. So these are pretty much in the same price range. So I know that many of my subscribers and viewers are from United States. So where can you buy these? Well, if you have a Etude House store, do you have a Etude House store in California or somewhere? I don't know. Uh, but you can definitely get it from online. So go to eBay and type in Etude House Foundation Brush. And this is the first thing that pops up. Also on Amazon, you can get it too. Type in the same thing and this is the first thing that goes up. Also in regards to this brush from Misha, I couldn't find it on Amazon, but you can definitely find it on eBay. Just type in Misha foundation brush and this thing is there. So before we dive in, let's just quickly look at the exterior. So looking at these brushes side by side, as you can see, in terms of length, they're pretty much the same height right there. Okay. Also, uh, in terms of handles, a two house one is a lot curved whereas the Misha one is just slightly curved here. A two house one is like whoo so uh, that's that and um, when you hold it on your hands the uh, Etude House one feels a lot better. I personally like this one because this one is very roundy. Um, and then uh, this Misha one is like really flat. So if you hold it on your hands, like all your makeup brushes are like round handled, right? There's no, I've never seen a single makeup brush handle that is like square formed or like flat. So um, just, just because it's like more round, I like this handle better than this one. But it's not like this one is like, oh, it's so flat, I can't use it, it's so uncomfortable. Uh, it's just that this one is a lot more comfortable, you know? If I only had this one, then I wouldn't say anything about the grip. So uh, that's the difference between the two. And uh, in terms of the brush head, as you can see, the Etude House one is completely oval shaped, whereas this one is like triangular shaped. Also, both of these are very dense, like the bristles are very dense, yet very, very soft. Both of these are so, 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 so soft. So, um, never use this. This is my first time trying this one from Misha. But I have used this for quite a few weeks and um, it's so soft. There's no way in hell that this brush is going to prickle your skin. It's so soft. And now we're going to jump into the application. But before that, I'm going to pinch my hair back. And... Ooh. Also, both of these are synthetic hair brushes, as you guys may have already noticed. First, I'm priming my face with my lovely Sidekick Hangover Primer from Too Faced. I already did my makeup because I didn't want to scare you guys with my stark naked face. Not that I've never shown you guys, but I don't know. For today's foundation, I'm using this Echo Soul BB Cake from The Sam. It's a Korean brand too. Um, as you guys all know, I'm not a big fan of CC Cushion or BB Cushion, but this one is so 
amazing. It's so hydrating and it still provides an awesome coverage. It's definitely medium to slightly heavy coverage, but it doesn't make your face look like cakey because it's still got that really nice hydration. So I absolutely love this. If you guys have never tried it, Definitely, definitely try it. So this is what it looks like. So on this side of my face, I'm going to try Etude House one. And on the other side of the face, I'm going to try the Misha one. So let's begin. All right, so I'm going to do Etude House first and then Misha. So basically, I'm just tapping this brush into the BB cake and get the product. My tips for using this brush is don't put any pressure. Don't grab it like this. Just hold it really, really casually. Don't put any pressure because this brush, just let it do its job. It does everything so effortlessly. So if you uh, put too much pressure or if you hold it really tightly, it's, it's going to mess it up. So just really, you know, lightly, casually, just, you know, like, so you start from the center and then brush it outwards all right it's kind of like horizontally and downwards and uppers basically outwards but don't come back from the outwards don't do like this thing because that just messes everything up so all you gotta do is this it's so easy guys you just gotta try it it's so soft it doesn't leave any streaky marks see I'm just hardly giving any pressure and this is already like applying it so so nicely like outwards never inwards all right I mean you could do that but I don't find any benefit of doing that because just doing this alone it just does everything so beautifully and nicely oh it feels so good guys it, this brush is just so awesome also try to do small strokes because like dragging it like this it just doesn't help like small little strokes it just makes everything so magical so um, I absolutely love it I talked about it many times in my previous videos so uh, you guys all know this is my favorite and now let's try this baby from Misha alright this is my first time so first impression with this one same way, I'm just going to dip it into the product and alright. Not bad. So basically, it's all like the toothbrush foundation brush. So the basic idea is the same, but uh, I kind of think I like the um, Etude House one better. I feel like this brush is really flat, not only in the handle, but also in the brush head too. It's like, um, you kind of need to be kind of attentive with these like crevices areas. Also like here, you just gotta do this. I'm done with my both sides and um, looking into the mirror both sides look almost the same I don't feel like any of the sides is crappy or uneven or streaky or just you know not pretty both are looking really really good however I totally totally noticed that all right so this is my opinion this is my final thoughts I like a tooth house one way better because um, this one is a lot more curved and the handle is a lot thicker and roundy but this one is like really thin and flat so when you're applying it on your face it actually 
like I don't know like this one is a lot more comfortable and you don't have to do many like maneuvers to make everything even and nice because this one is so flat like the handle that you have to like do this and like I don't know like kind of do this and then like lift it up a little bit and like especially on the sides of my nose I was like I really kind of had to like do this and then like this and just pretty much basically like a lot of different motions to make it even however this brush from Etude House it's so basically like dimensional that it's like it does everything itself you don't need to do anything really seriously I'm not sponsored I swear I bought these two with my own money and like this Etude House one is just like I don't know it's like you watch TV and it just applies beautifully whereas this one from Misha um, you definitely need to look into yourself in the mirror and you know see where this brush is going like you gotta be aware of uh, the route of this brush I don't know I don't know if that makes sense but just it's, this is a lot more effortless than this one. That's that's what I want to say. Also, I just noticed that uh, the Etude House one has longer hair. See? It's like almost a double size of the uh, Misha ones. It's like has longer hair. So maybe that has to do with the application. This one is very like flat on your skin. So it's like a difference between flat foundation brush and a 3D foundation brush. This one is like, it's really flat and close to your skin. So you need to work more. You need more strokes. You need more blending. Whereas this one has, you know, bigger... Uh, surface area and it's like it's got some curves so I think it takes less time than this one so it's like the difference between these two so this one is like this flat foundation brush and uh, the Etude House one is like this 3D foundation one both these as a result make a beautiful skin tone but um, I think the process time is way shorter with this t this one uh, whereas this one needs a little more you know works so verdict of the day all in all I like this one better the Etude House one is a definitely a winner I still like this brush this is a good brush too but if you're going to only buy one toothbrush foundation brush then I would definitely say go for the Etude House this one has better grip uh, it's just effortless it just makes your foundation look so magical so flawless and just so beautiful basically so I hope you guys enjoyed this little review comparison video if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and always you guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video bye